And Mayor Lovely Warren has introduced her plans for Rochester in 2021. The cornerstone of her vision is something new called the Equity and Recovery Agenda. Mark Ruba asked the mayor about that plan, the events of this week, and her personal loss. How will uh, the agenda impact poverty in Rochester? So, on several different ways, we're talking about um, first, we're looking at really advocating for a living wage for home health care workers. They've been on the front line. Um, this is something that I have been talking about for a number of years, and I know that the Rochester Monroe Anti Poverty Initiative has had this as part of their agenda. But it's time that we take care of the people that have been taking care of our loved ones during this time and make sure that they have access to a living wage. And those are the people, our home health care workers, our CNAs that are on the front line. Um, also, when we look at investment in economic development and helping people be able to either start their business or go back to work, we want to make sure minority and women-owned businesses get the support that they need to start or even to grow. In terms of the state of our city, is there anything that you can take from what we saw in Washington and apply it here to make Rochester a better place? Absolutely. Um, when we saw what happened in Washington, you saw the tale of two cities. And when I say that, you saw disparities across the board on how people were treated. Now, people that protested on our streets, people that protested in Washington and across this country about violence and, 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 and police brutality and racism and all those things versus another set of people and how they were treated and in many ways allowed to just walk through the door. We have to recognize, above all things, we're human beings. We need to treat everyone with compassion. We need to treat everyone with the way that we want to be treated. We are in this together. And we will get through this only by working collectively together as a community. 2020 was a difficult year for you personally. Uh, you lost your mentor, Assemblyman David Gant. You lost your mother as well. I'm wondering, uh, as you've had time to reflect on those losses, uh, what impact that's had on you and uh, perhaps your vision uh, of leadership as you go forward? 2020 was a tough year for me. Um, it's a year that tested my faith. Um, and when I say it tested me, my faith, it rocked me to the core. I never thought that I would end 2020 uh, when I'm coming in and end it without my boss, without my mother, and with all the challenges that came with it. But what it did was it made me ever more committed to making a difference. And so all of the things that we talk about in the equity and recovery agenda is truly about facing what we've never wanted to face before and doing it in a way that allows everyone to participate in the economic recovery of our community in an equitable way.